Windows Defender Credential Guard protects the passwords of the domain by storing them in a virtual container instead of storing them in a RAM so that the hackers won't be able to hack the password of the domains. So if you want to enable or disable the Windows Defender Credential Guard then let us see in this video how to do it. Now you can do this by using registry editor and also by using group policy editor. Now the easiest method is by using the group policy editor and it will work for Windows 10 which is a pro version or the enterprise version but not on the home edition. So what I will do now is I will press Windows and R button on the keyboard. It will open run dialog box. I will enter this command gpedit.msc and then OK. This will open this group policy editor. Then what you do? Under this computer configuration, expand this administrative templates. Then what you do is go to system. Then select device guard. On the right you have turn on virtualization based security which is right now not configured. So let me double click to open it. Now if you want to enable this uh, Windows Defender Credential Guard, select Enable and then from here either select Secure Boot or Secure Boot and DMA Protection. Now under this Credential Guard configuration, make sure to select Enable with UEFI Lock and then select Apply and then OK. Now once you have enabled this Windows Defender Credential Guard, and then once you want to update this group policy editor so that the windows defender credential guard will be enabled then what you do is again press windows and r button then type this option gp update gp update space slash force and then OK. So what does this do is this will update the group policy editor. So whatever changes you have made now it will be updated. And now you have successfully enabled Windows Defender Credential Guard. If you want to disable it just double click on this turn on virtualization based security. Then what you do you select the option from here under this credential guard configuration select enable without lock. Also, you can select not configured, then apply, OK, and then close this one. Again, uh, open this run dialog box by pressing Windows and R button. And again, type this command gp update slash force and then hit enter. So, this will update the group policy editor and now whatever the changes you made just now it will be updated successfully thank you for watching this video please like and share this video if you found it helpful also click on the subscribe button and hit on the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos for free